Nickelodeon is partnering with the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County to learn all about the science of SpongeBob. Oh, best day ever! We all know SpongeBob lives in Bikini Bottom and a pineapple under the sea. A place so soothing and sweet. But how much do we know about the real life ocean environment in which they live? Wow, I never thought of it that way. Let's check in with some of the museum's top scientists to learn all about how our favorite fish thrive in their ecosystem. There is no species without its habitat, so those two things have to go together. The ocean environment is critically important for everything that lives in it, just as our environment is important for us. The ocean has to keep working, the ocean has to keep healthy for everything that lives in it, so they can eat, so they can photosynthesize, so they can get through their lives. It's very important. It's their everything. It's how they reproduce, it's their success in feeding, and now the pollution in the ocean being so high, it's critical that we pay attention more. Wow, so the environment is pretty important. So, are there any initiatives to keep these awesome ecosystems protected? A marine protected area is essentially a national park, but for marine areas, and they're very important because they have a lot of protections in place for the animals that live there, which allows them to grow larger, and when they grow larger, they can produce more offspring. Look at me, I'm a baby! And those offspring will grow up, and they will move out of the MPA and into the surrounding waters, and then that makes the whole ecosystem surrounding the MPA more healthy. We love a fish-filled habitat. So are there any unique ways that sea creatures navigate through their environment? Ecolocation. It's also called biosonar. It's a way that whales communicate, and they, it helps them find their food, helps them know their surroundings. It's these sound waves kind of come out of their heads and out into the environment. They bounce back, and the whales can hear and see their environment using these sonars, these sound waves. Impressive indeed. Uh, normally, we can't hear them. They make them at such high frequencies that it doesn't work with our ears. So scientists need to record these sounds and slow them down so we can hear them and figure out what they're trying to communicate or have an idea how they communicate with each other. Check back in for more Science of SpongeBob, brought to you by the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County and Nickelodeon.